Welcome to this video. I want to talk about some tips that will increase our workflow productivity and will make us faster during our designing process. And one of the great things to make our workflow fast is the hotkeys. We can use them or shortcuts. We can use Command Z or Control Z just like most of the other programs. Control B for preview and we have the save option or even delete or whatever. You will find them in the resources. And we have another thing before we start i want to give you some tips about the design of the website and we have a very big section of the design is called colors and if you take a good care of colors you will have probably a great design while the other great section for our design to be great is our art direction and how creative we can go with our design today i got you some of our inspirational websites to get nice designs from we have behance I think you've heard of that before, it's by Adobe and you, you can go ahead and create your account for free and it's basically for artists and designers and you can go and get lots of inspirations from that amazing website to see what's trending these days, to see what others are doing. You're not going to invent the wheel here, you're going to start from where others stopped. This is how it goes actually in most of the human fields. No one starts inventing anything from the scratch or it's gonna take lots of time. So you have to get inspired and you have to feed your eyes and your visual storage with the new stuff and see what others are doing, okay? So you can search for any category or category through that website and see the new stuff made by designers worldwide, okay? And the other website we have in here is DeviantArt and it's so famous website as well. You can type in here whatever uh, genre or category you would like to search, websites or poster design or logo design or whatever, you're gonna find great stuff. Of course, DeviantArt used to be number one in that field but came behind and now it's the most popular one and the most trending while you will find great stuff in here too okay and then when you get the art direction or some of the nice ideas you would like to follow you will probably look for nice images okay and when you're looking for nice images I really recommend that amazing website called unsplash.com it has amazing high resolution pictures and they are all free you can see amazing stuff this is for example searching for design pictures and you can start searching for nature or anything you will find amazing uh, photos in here okay and you can see 22 plus thousand free nature pictures then once you get your art direction and you get your nice images you will probably need to use some colors in here okay so we have that nice website called color lovers or color palette or any nice websites there are many websites for color palettes but this one is so famous for designers and so amazing you can search for some custom color palettes in here or famous ones or and you can start to adjust them the way you would like here you can see we have many color palettes and you can look for some nice colors to start with and work with through your design okay we're going to talk about that through our practical part but like here's how you start a design you have to think about a nice idea that matches your concept and you have to start looking for your design elements and your resources and your design elements consists of colors and your images and tools and vectors or your logos you're using your assets your design assets okay we have that process in design that starts with searching and researching and we call it brainstorming. You have to start brainstorming your ideas and the more time you spend in that phase, you're going to get a great and amazing result. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the nice idea, but come on, creativity is not an easy thing and you cannot get creative uh, within a second. Okay, It might take a little while, but eventually you will have an artwork. Okay, And that artwork is what's gonna give you a higher ranking and you will feel eventually satisfied with what you've accomplished and what you did through your artwork okay with no further introduction let's go to our elementor and start seeing that in practical we have the color element and how to speed our workflow and get creative and productive through that we have that little menu in here we have our color picker elementor is giving us those default colors and you can change them according to your needs. So while you're designing a website, try to be consistent with your colors, use 
two to three colors at max don't go beyond that it's gonna be so hard to match your colors and it's giving you some palettes in here you can make them your default to save you some time we don't call the black or gray or white colors actually in design world they are shades uh, or light they are not called colors the colors are those colors like red magenta cyan blue or whatever okay but the gray or black or white they are neutrals and they match with any color okay so you can use that gray and think of any color it will go and match with that color and same goes for black and white so for example i have some nice colors in here i'm gonna apply them so i'm gonna keep those in my color palette because they are mandatory for our design and now i'm gonna change some of those colors to be easier for me not to go every time and choose different colors we have i have some hex colors or you can eyeball them you can start eyeballing them or if you have a color code or hex color you can get that from here uh, you can get hex colors from uh, the color lovers or from uh, uh, adobe website color or you can get them from the photoshop or illustrator or any other graphic design program and hex colors are in here you can get your colors you're gonna double click any color and you will find its code in here you're gonna copy that code and paste it in there and paste it in here then you're gonna get that color for your website so i have some hex colors i've been thinking of for my design to be faster for me while i'm working i have that uh, nice turquoise color in here i'm gonna save it okay so it's going to be my color palette and I have that brighter yellow I'm going to replace it with that one this one I was using before but this one is more suitable for that website So probably through our design we're gonna use those two colors with some grays or black for our shades or for our uh, complementary colors for our text or our elements okay we're gonna apply that then we can go back to our menu in here and we can learn about them quickly global colors is like those colors you save them in Elementor and you're gonna reuse them later in any website you're using and same for fonts and you can change them from here you have primary headline which is set to be roboto and its weight and secondary and all that you can change those fonts to be your default that you're using for your next or upcoming designs and then we have the page settings which we can control our page from here now we're working on our home page and we can hide its title from here and we have the template we can make our page as Elementor canvas or landing page and we when we make it Elementor canvas it's gonna be a blank page even without that header and we can use it later for our design assets or any other purpose we're gonna see that in action in a little while don't worry about that and then we have the status of the page that it's published or private bending or whatever you would like then going back to our menu then we have the global settings for the elementor we can change their defaults from here if you would like we can customize them from here if you have a missing font then sans serif font will be replacing your missing font and you have the content width and widget space and all those default settings i'm not going to change any of them right now then we have delete all content if you have your elements in that page and you want to make it empty then you're going to use that button and it will clear all your page especially if you're experimenting with some elements or you're trying new design techniques and eventually you don't like what you did or you want to start from scratch you can delete your all contents from here and we have elementor settings this will take us to our settings in the dashboard where you can customize your default elementor settings in there then we have about elementor you can always go to our widgets from here then we have the history which is amazing for our workflow if you have any history before you can go back in time and use that and you can see that page had previous designs so we have so many steps you can go back any time you would like
and this will save you lots of time and you can experiment with anything you would like feeling comfortable with that okay and that was a quick introduction on how to be creative and really quick and fast with your designing process hope you have your own cup of coffee or tea or whatever you would like to drink nearby because now we're gonna start our magic and designing process with this amazing elementor page builder okay